realizing how fancy I look right now. <laughs> but I'm right about to head out and I'm definitely gonna bring you guys with me because this weekend I am going on a staycation. So I'm going on a staycation because my birthday is coming up in like a week and a half and so it is time to just treat myself because I've had actually a really turbulent start to 2022. A lot of changes, a lot of you know positive changes and so I've just been hustling hard and gotta work hard, play hard. So this weekend is really intended to be just a do nothing, relax, and just ah, just relax and be zen. Honestly, I brought some books with me. I just finished packing, and I'm dressed so nice because the first thing I'm gonna do as soon as I check in is go for afternoon tea. We're gonna be doing all the basic things during the staycation, so I'm gonna bring you guys with me. For my staycation, I'm heading to Capital Kapinski Hotel, which is in the city, super close, super central, and I've actually been there before for like food. I've been there for lunch with some girlfriends last year, and I absolutely loved it because their service was it was impeccable. We were there for, I think, like four or five hours. Like, they didn't kick us out. <laughs> but had such a great time there, so I'm really happy I'm heading back to the hotel. It'll be my first time properly staying at the Kapinski Hotel. So I will bring you guys along with me. Let's head out, and I will see you guys there. gosh I am sitting down for afternoon tea I haven't done this in in a little while now so actually just now I went through the lobby left the bags there because I'm just gonna check into the room afterwards for now we're just gonna have some tea it's gonna be Zen we're gonna have some goods before I get hangry the food has arrived it looks so good I'm gonna dig in honestly How cool is this? This is steamed egg, but it's made with century egg. Oh, so excited. So we were getting an explanation from the chef himself. Hello, what's your name? Hi, Hong. Nice to meet you guys. Oh my gosh, he was explaining the different things, but everything had such Asian flavors, yes, which is cool because there's only so many cucumber sandwiches you can eat and so many <laughs> typical buttery scones, which are great, don't get me wrong, but it's nice that you guys switch it up. So, and I love the teas are very like, very Chinese teas, yes, yes, which is yes. like, okay, well, we'll try it. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. Thank Enjoy. you, thank you, thank you. Wow, that looks so cute. Amazing. <laughs> Lemon and bergamot cake, mm -hmm. and this is the chocolate balance, mm -hmm. and this is the raspberry shoe. All right, so afternoon tea is done, and now it's gonna be checking into the hotel room. But before that, going to just do a little bit of a tour of the hotel itself. So check it out with me. So this is the lobby area, and look at this painting though. It's done by a local artist, and it was commissioned specially for the hotel. And I think there is another one over there as well. So earlier I was telling you guys how I've actually been here for a lunch last year at some point and it was so lovely. This is the bar that we went to after lunch, but then the actual restaurant we went to last time was right on the corner. So dinner tomorrow will be at the actual restaurant. So I'll be back there again. Hello. <laughs> She's giving a tour. <laughs> so we're gonna go from the main lobby area and then head over to, this is the arcade, which is right beside the main Capital Kapinski. It's like a little mall, but a part of the hotel. So cool, there's a German restaurant here, which is actually apparently named after the daughter of the hotel, Frida Kapinski. This is so crazy because those are actually part of the, like the rooms as part of the hotel as well. Those ones as well. It just gives me like 
Las Vegas vibes. I think I said that the first time I came in here. Oh, really? Yeah, where there's like a mall and then there's like the rooms inside, oh. kind of like the mall. that we saw from the first ones. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so these are all within the arcade? Yeah. Wow. So it's quite cool. And then this one is um, facing into the arcade, which is the rooms that we saw earlier. And these are all actually street view towards Stamford Road, St. Andrew's Cathedral as well. So we were touring around the hotel and like there's a huge long hallway that we just went down. And it's so bizarre because like on one side, you've got the street. And then earlier on the other side, on like this side, it was facing the inside of the mall. So it's like, it's very like circular is what I'm being told. It's so insane, but it's cool because it's very unlike the other hotels that you would typically go to, where it's just like, just a straight line. It's like a T-shaped kind of thing, but how cool. So where are we heading to now? Event space? Yes, so right now we're in our uh, event space. We call it the Atelier. Yeah. And this is the pre-function area. And in there we have the Atelier 1 and 2. We actually usually host like weddings in there as well. Do you guys still do a lot of weddings these days with COVID? These days, actually, a little bit more. I think people are a bit more comfortable. Yeah. Is it kitchen area? Kitchen, yeah. What? <laughs> Wait, so do people book this out to like do... Uh, I wish more people would. <laughs> Wait, this is so fun. If any of you guys ever need an event space, here you go. <laughs> and I want to maybe show you a little bit in the atelier something really special. Um, first of all, would be the ceilings, really pretty. And yeah. if you see the walls all here, these are actually hand sewn. Hand sewn? Hand sewn, if you go closer to Wow, I feel like we're in a art museum right now. Yeah. It's like there's a commissioned <laughs> artwork in the lobby, and yeah. then these are hand sewn. <laughs> So I know the restaurant, it was, was it opened by like Elvin Leung? Yes. Who I am a huge fan of because he's, well he's from Hong Kong, yeah. but also Canadian. he's Canadian right. and I love MasterChef Canada and he's one of the judges uh, right, on there. Right. I remember the first time I came I was like, is there a chance he's going to be here? No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, he comes by sometimes. Does he? Yeah. How, like, like once a year type of thing? Kind of, yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, well, can you guys let me know when he's here? And I'll come I'll book call a... You. I'll call I'll come book a restaurant. I'll be like, oh my god, hi. I've watched every single season of MasterChef Canada. What would you say is one of the coolest things about Kapinski Hotel? I would say probably that we really like to infuse art into our hotel. So there are a lot of art pieces lying in our hotel. Yeah. Uh, like we saw in the lobby, that's a bit more customized to us. And then some other pieces lying around, especially in your Stanford suite as well, which yeah. is actually our signature suite in the hotel. We're just like walking around right now before going into the room. And this area, guys, very photo worthy. In case you guys ever stay here, right? <laughs> yeah. A lot of photo shoots are done in this little corridor area, right? That's right. Where are we heading to now? To the room? Yes. To the yes, room. let's go. <laughs> All right, so welcome to oh your room. Oh my gosh, there's the balloons. <laughs> a little birthday surprise for you. Thank you. It's only the beginning of the yes. vacation, so you guys will come along. Oh, I like, wait, I love this. Yes, it, oh my oh, god, it's my favorite book here. Oh, dude. Mm -hmm. If you guys, okay, if you aren't in Singapore already, when you do come to Singapore, you should totally go look at the black and white houses. It's just so exactly. iconic. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and if you want a replica of uh, this vibe, you can go to PS Cafe. <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So just to show you, actually, right behind here is a picture oh. of the 15 Stanford restaurant. Yeah. And we do have a couple of designs, so it's sort of like a collection. Oh, so you got yeah. you got to come back to the hotel a few times to get them all. That's right. Yeah, Wait, this, this is, is how we get you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cutest like square little hotel card ever. I love it. Okay. Well, I guess I guess we have no choice but to come back. Just 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 for the hotel card key. <laughs> Thank you so much. My pleasure. Okay, we'll see you around. I guess for the next two days. Yes. Yes. I will be here. Time for some proper room tour starts now. <laughs> I am in the hotel room and it is 
is just absolutely beautiful here. I love it. I feel so relaxed just even being here. And it's also just a really spacious room because you've got like this table area, this dining area, then you've got the couch and then inside the bedroom then you've got another desk there so it's just so lovely and honestly the Kapinski hotel staff like just like the restaurant that I've been to are so sweet, so thoughtful and honestly like I mean come on look at the balloons and look at the happy birthday I'm a happy girl oh my gosh this is just the first day of the staycation so <sighs> ready to relax man it is time for the massage but I just am in such a zen mood right now so I can't wait to just spend the first evening here and I definitely got extremely excited over those balloons and it's such a thoughtful gesture um, and then I got distracted filming a room tour for you guys so now I am like speed walking to the massage which I'm so excited for you have no idea guys like I love my massages so much it is definitely an act of self-care and if you can I highly recommend you to every once in a while pamper yourself so that's what I'm gonna do so it's the Singapore massage that we're gonna be doing mm -hmm. today yes it's, it's like one of our signature mm -hmm. massage on it so it's a very very actually it's a Singapore style because Singapore you know you have a Malay mm -hmm. Chinese and the Indian so we have combined it in that special create for I love that! I love that! Okay, let's do this! Okay, so done the massage and just leaving the hotel room to go get dinner and honestly it's so nice the hotel is so conveniently located because it's right at like City Hall which is like right in the core of the city and which is great because there is a really lovely place called Chimes if you watched Crazy Rich Asians the wedding scene was like in the Chimes area and so I'm gonna go meet a friend Lily uh, for ramen so let's see you soon look at how beautiful it is outside of the hotel this is Chimes how beautiful is this the ramen shop that we're gonna go to, I believe, is there and then downstairs. Lily! Ooh, say hi! Oh my god! Aww. Holy crap, this is a mountain. What is that? I've never seen so much vegetables and char siu. We're definitely very hungry. There's a lot of stuff going on they here. They just dumped it. Yeah, they were just like, you want more? We'll give you more. Oh, wow. It's good because the elastic is so tight. Yeah. Like... We just had dinner. How was it? It was great. Nice, nice, nice. We're going for a little post meal sand bowl walk. Um, and uh, this is the end of day one, staycation. Uh, and I guess I will see you tomorrow morning. Good night! I am surprisingly actually up and I'm about to head to the gym. Hello! Good morning! Alright, I Finished gymming and showered, got ready. This is the outfit for today. Voila! Um, today, it's gonna be a play by ear type of day. First, gonna go downstairs for some brekkie, and then maybe it's going to be visiting a museum, but we shall see. And then dinner is happening tonight, so I'm so excited. And also brought a book to read, so this is the situation. <laughs> Um, first round of breakfast situation. Fruit, bread. Literally just like honeycombs. I totally smashed this entire bowl of noodles down and I kind of want to have one. Do you want to order another one? I don't think I'll finish another bowl. Can you guys do like a half portion? Sure, yeah. Can I do that? Yeah. Thank you. I loved it. I inhaled it. It's the same size as the first one. Um, I started eating this already, but this is what the prawn noodle looks like. It's so delicious. Hey, 
actually properly starting the day now. Just had the lovely breakfast and did some chill reading at the restaurant, which was so nice. The one really amazing thing about Kapinski is that it's actually so central. Right now, I'm just gonna walk over to uh, the museum. There's actually a few right in the vicinity of the hotel. There's Asian Civilization Museum. There's also National Gallery, which is great. This is the National Gallery of Singapore. And that is like the durian building of Singapore. This is a chair where you need to stand at a certain angle to be able to see it. Huh? finished visiting the museum it was really nice this is the outside of it and it's raining a little bit but otherwise weather is not bad We've got marina bay sands here very nice just gonna walk around for a bit i think i definitely went back to the hotel and just took a fat one hour nap and i'm waking up feeling very refreshed now anyway got a few hours before dinner so just finding a place in the city to pop by and sit around brought my laptop and a book going to just get some work done and I know it's supposed to be a staycation and I said I'd be relaxing but it actually is very relaxing to me to do some life admin personal admin stuff uh, on a Sunday because I can just clear it off my list and feel really good about it so that's the plan I'm going to do that for the next couple hours This is the current work setup. So laptops, waiting for the drinks, and then some friends are gonna join us afterwards, which is perfect in an hour or so. Thank and you. Look at the cutest little sliders. You have sunglasses on. Show me say hello. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Goodbye, friends! Ciao! Ciao! Alright, just left the restaurant bar and it was so lovely seeing friends. It was super spontaneous. We literally were driving towards the venue and then we saw a friend on us crossing the street at the red light and we're like, yo, Sev! And then we all decided to meet up and go get drinks together. And so it was lovely. And we're now heading back to Kapinski for dinner, which I'm really excited for. I'm ready to eat. So let's go get some food. The first course for tonight, this is the Japanese shrimp. So excited, I'm so hungry, oh my gosh. This is the second course, which is octopus, which I love. This is the fourth and final course for tonight. So this is a pandan dessert mascarpone and then this one is a roasted pineapple <sighs> it's been a really good day very fulfilling day did so many things did, went to the gym went to the museum saw some friends tomorrow it's monday i'll be checking out and i'm gonna be heading to work in the morning we'll bring you guys along with me all the way up to tomorrow morning when i check out so see you later happy monday everyone
everybody, good morning. I just finished having breakfast and also just packed my bags because unfortunately it is checkout day. So I am actually heading straight from Kapinski to my first meeting, which is exactly why I'm in the same blazer as yesterday. <laughs> cause I've got work to do cause we hustling up in here. So uh, anyway, I had the most wonderful weekend. It was really nice. It's a pre-birthday celebration, which is great because I just wanted to do something different on the weekend for once, which absolutely was this weekend. Got some time to see friends and go to museums and then also massage because self-care is so important but um, it is time to check out so I am going to head out now and before I do that I just wanted to thank you guys for being here with me and for watching this video doing the staycation kind of virtually with me shout outs to my favorite people okay during the stay Cassandra, Suman at the restaurant um, Jermaine, super lovely girl, and also Joyce and Walter from the hotel. Just wanted to thank all of them for making this day extra special. And I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, see you guys later.